pretty decently, at least in the air game, on the down, on, on the ground. Yeah, um, no, Mar Mario has that head. He, yeah. he has, he's wearing that helmet for a reason. <laughs> he's got the head. He's got the fist. Ooh, and he's got the grabs right here. All huge damage coming out right out of the gate as Fang's dead. Yeah, zero to death. He doesn't even. He charges up the flood. Doesn't even need it. Immediately yeah, tosses yeah. it. It's oh no, Fang. Please don't Fang. get don't get JV for No, Fang. I have faith in Fang hey. winning this game. Uh, I mean, winning the game. I, I had faith in him not getting JV Ford. I don't know how to feel about him winning the game. I, right now. Look, look. This, this guy, known commentator. It, it, cool. Some people say he's a swell guy. Some people look say he looks handsome. I think he looks ugly, by the way. But. <laughs> <laughs> He, I, uh, we have faith in this Ness out here in the L.I. streets. <laughs> I mean, so Kevin, me being, you know, here in Westchester, I have seen the sort of stuff he's capable of, and he is definitely capable of maintaining uh, you know, a lead like yeah, this. Yeah, no, Kevin is not a slouch by no means. And this, this guy, like, we, I've played him before, close sets. I only think he gotten better since quarantine, and he's actually just proven that by just taking this, <laughs> taking it to Fang right now. And honestly, the stage seems to be just working out a lot better for Kevin than it has been for Fang at the moment. Oh, oh no. Fang? Is he done? He, oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. No. No! Oh, <laughs> uh, well, I hope your faith isn't too shaken by that. Oh, my, my faith is not shaken. I'm like a strong Catholic student. Pre graduation. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're about to go to college, kid. Yeah. Sorry. And I'm, I'm you're going to come hard. back with, like, a I'm shaved head. And party hard. <laughs> <laughs> Tattoos everywhere. You're going to be like, God isn't real, but she's also a woman. <laughs> oh. But if she was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving into game two, I like this stage counter pick here. Uh, to a certain degree. I am worried still about the Mario combos that can utilize that middle platform. But I think that the neutral is maybe going to benefit Fang a little bit more. Yeah, I, li I do like the DI outs on it. And Kevin's just pushing down the pressure, trying to call out all of Fang's jumps with his f with a fair in his own, because that would just take the stock of Fang DI DI's out, or is this too far off stage? And Kevin's just just calling him out mm. bit by bit. Yeah, I. Oh, and no. he reads the roll after all of that. So. He's been calling out all of Fang's roles. This was not just in this game, Salty. He did that game one, straight off the bat. He said, so many people roll off me. I'm just going to make an educated guess. And his guess was straight on point. Parry up smash, takes it right there. I'm also I'm loving the, the, the dash dance that Kevin is doing. It's just at this range where, like, Ness doesn't have that many great grounded, uh, you know. Oh, the, the cape right back to his face. He said, take your PK fire back. Oh, the pressure, and he is not getting punished for it. At the moment, Kevin once more looking absolutely dominant. That's going to be a big punish. Oh, no, not just uh, yet. Okay, all right, I'm liking this. Calling out the jumps, intercepting with these neutral airs. It's I, overall, Fang has been very consistently uh, opting to, you know, go for these ledge punishes as opposed to, you know, big combos on stage. Yeah, and so that smash out of show was actually really, really good. But and you see, he, Fang take the first dock of his of this set, and. I don't agree with a lot of those areas. He should just play a bit more grounded and try to wait for what Kevin is going to do because that's what he's doing back to him and just try to break the patience of him. Fang is off stage without a jump oh, right now. That air dodge is kind of crazy, Salty. Oh, yeah. You, you, you saw how far he went? Yeah, I mean, like... People say ooh. it's a third jump. I didn't believe them, but that was actually a third jump. <laughs> and the up smash takes it right there. Well, to be fair, Ness sometimes might... You know, third jump is cool, but sometimes he doesn't even have enough beat. You know? There are yeah. a lot of characters, a lot of situations where if he upbeats, he's just dead. Yeah. And I think he needs to like know his combo starters out of shield more, because at least, especially at low percents, because he's not getting massive damage. He does like a nair, a rising nair here or there, and he's just not netting him a lot. 
and it just allows Kevin just to get like knick knack and he's going up for a ride. <laughs> Yeah, at the same time, Ness does have some of the best out of shield punishes in the game. And with Mario and the pressure that Kevin has been putting on him, oh. it's the sort of thing where he just wants to get damage where he can. Even if there might be a more optimal punish, uh, he's just looking to be like, I want you off of me and I want to be in advantage at the very least. Yeah. Oh. Oh! Just barely misspacing him right there. Yeah, you can see Kevin's looking for the big moves, the hard-hitting, game-ending plays right now. Oh, just reading the roll. That was not that was not a reaction, my friends. He just read that. <laughs> He's in things, huh? Oh, tries to once again go for that trump, but this time around, Fang is able to buffer an option and not get hit by it. He's... Once again, this is, oh, I was going to say that Fang can possibly win this game through a really clutch edge guard, but Kevin, is, his recoveries are being too safe, too careful to let something like that happen to him. Oh, oh. snipe. I think he's still good. But yeah, the immediate roll up, almost everybody does that. Well, it's, keep in mind, it's, it's the fact that he had been trumping him so yeah. consistently that the only way to